what's spring training like uh, when you can't hit? Um, well, it's just the, it's it's more the mental side of everything, and uh, also the extra workouts I've been doing and all that. And coming out of spring ball before this, I'll, I never really was healthy. I mean, my freshman year I had wrist surgery, and then a, last year I had the ulna thing. And uh, this will be the first time. I mean, in the summer I won't be really hampered by anything, so I'll be going into fall camp 100%, and that's you know kind of it's inspiring to me to be able to you know say that and. Uh, be able to really show what I have, you know, right away. What's your role in practice, and do you like that role? I mean, kind of the well, coach? Or... I, yeah, I say I'm more of a, you know, kind of helping out with uh, maybe coaching my position, and you know, because uh, Coach Burnham's so busy calling the defense the whole time, you know, they can come over and uh, ask me ask me a question or something like that really quick, and I can just rattle off an answer, and you know, it, it kind of saves saves some time for everybody and uh, works out pretty well. How's Miller coming around then? Since you're kind of helping coaching him, oh, well, he's he's coming around pretty good right now. Uh, he's definitely just confidence with him. As long as he keeps his confidence up, he he does great things, and uh, that's the biggest thing I've just been talking to him about. Is just you know, no matter what, if you have a bad play, just forget about it. You got to go out the next play, and, and when he does that, he plays plays really really well. What do you see from him, you know, physically that that you like so far? Um, he just he's a playmaker. It's some people have that, and some people don't, and. He definitely has that uh, ability just to make a play, even if he, he'll do something wrong, and sometimes he'll just still make a play, which uh, a lot of people can't say they can do that. Uh, I think that's the one thing that really sticks out in my mind with him. You with, think uh, Jevin is, do you think Jevin's benefiting from that, the play he got last year? Can you see kind of a growth that way? Yeah, definitely. Uh, he, he changes so much, you know, between uh, different plays where, you know, it's one player and then it's a different player. So, I think he's finally starting to get a little bit more consistent, and that's that's definitely what he needs. With the whole defense, you're out, Jim. You have a couple of key guys out. What can this do for you guys from a growth standpoint? For you know, Jevin, your other backups who are getting more reps because guys like you and Jeremy aren't out there. Well, I think it, it helps put a lot of people at ease because in the past, if you know a certain person went down and you didn't know what their backup could do or something like that, it it, it could scare you a little bit. But now, you know, you, they're getting all the reps. They're getting. Uh, all the time and uh, going against the ones, that type of competition, uh, it goes a long way in just to be able to say, okay, no matter what, we're going to be okay at this position. I saw on Twitter last week you were cleared for something. I know you're not cleared for contact. So <laughs> what was what was that all about? Um, I, don't, I don't have any more uh, restrictions on uh, strength training yeah. or rehab or running or anything like that, which you know is nice to hear. And you know everything went smoothly. And he, he said, the doctor pretty much said, I'm. I'm good to go, you know, just don't do anything stupid. Yeah. <laughs> From a scheme standpoint, what does it mean for A.J. moving to the middle now? I think that's, you know, kind of one of the big moves on defense. Um, well, he, you know, he's kind of went back and forth depending on what teams we sure. played and, and everything. But I think that, that that gives a lot of the younger guys, like we talked about earlier, like uh, C.J. Morgan, a lot more time out there at Sam. And uh, he can kind of hopefully grow into that or, um, nickel Sam role instead of having to rotate different people out. That, that goes a long way. But also... Uh, having AJ be able to just to mainly focus on one position instead of two, which is, I think is a lot easier. Coach Rhodes said he might have to hide your helmet. Have there been any <laughs> instances where Yancey tells you, "Hey, come on, we can't do this," or Coach Rhodes or uh, Coach Burnham? Yeah, there's there's always there's always are those something. common occurrences like every day or yeah, I mean especially in the weight room, I always try <laughs> yeah. to go up, you know, do more, uh, you know, weight and everything. Say, like, whoa, whoa, we got time to do slow down and do this. <laughs> it's 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 good to have those people in your ear though, uh, but. At the same time, you know, it kind of it hurts to you know watch practice and not do as much as I as I want to do because you know they're looking out for my best interest. But at the same time, it's just the the type of person I am to want to push myself to get out there and to to do more. Is there one is there one thing from what, sorry for you now? Are you just running lifting? Is it almost like a second winter program for you right now? Pretty much would that be a good way to describe it? Um yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much what it is. Except I guess it's. A little bit more advanced because it's more of a me, Jeremy, and Chantrell, and he know Coach McKnight knows what we can do, and he's, yeah. he adjusts the workout to make, you know ramp it up even more. Mm -hmm. So, which is which is really good for us, and that's exactly what we need. So, uh, it's definitely really really intense workouts, and I think all of us are going to be our you know biggest, fastest, and strongest at the, at the end of spring ball. Is there anything specifically that stood out for you from the from the winter training? I mean, was there something different than maybe in past years that you guys grew more? Was that, I mean, maybe not a muscle group that you guys all got stronger at, but, but, but something specifically that stood out? Um, well, I just I, I just think that uh, Coach Knight did such a great job of 
listening to our bodies and you know, adjusting certain things uh, for us to, to make sure that we were still staying healthy but getting stronger. Because usually by the end of our winter off season and fourth quarter and all that stuff, there's, I mean, there's people that, that all that staying up late and everything catches up to them, they start getting sick and uh, a lot of people start dropping like flies, stuff like that because, so you know, it's just a, it's an intense workout and if you don't take care of your body, you're not going to be successful. And this year, uh, you know, Coach Knight made sure to adjust everything and uh, really listen to our bodies and, uh, you know, it ended up being very successful. Did you ever play against Jeff Woody in the CIML days? Yeah, yeah, I did. What was, what was he like then and, and now as a back, I guess? He was he was the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he ran hard, uh, mm -hmm. ran fast, and uh, he definitely not a back that you saw all the time in uh, Iowa high yeah. school football. You know, you got a guy that can run that fast and that big and everything. So it's definitely one of a kind. There's kind of an obsession about Coach Rhodes' beard right now <laughs> with fans and some of the media members. For the team, what what do you guys think of it? I like it. I don't, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's kind of cool. Hey, if I could, if I could grow one, I would. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so it's one of those things, guys. The guys don't rhythm really about it, or just because he's the coach, you guys don't. I think we touch it. I think we've seen it, you know, quite a bit. I, I think you know, a couple players might give him, give him some grief about it and stuff. But a lot of people like it. I think it's you know, it's just kind of cool that your head coach can do something like that and everyone like it. <laughs> a little bit one of the guys in a sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some coaches are so proper and Relates. so image conscious that he had with that. Yeah, I think it, it kind of proves to everybody else that he just relates to his players and he's a player's coach and uh, it's that type of mentality that he always has. And he, But at the same time, you know, everyone respects, respects him more than anybody in the world and uh, listens to absolutely everything he could say. So if you... Um you said you're going to be healthy early for the first summer. How's that? What's that going to do for your golf game? I know. I've, I think well, it was hopefully. even Lynn. Don't you guys get at it pretty good? Yeah, in yeah. We do. We do. It'll probably probably improve my uh, my uh, driving game. Hopefully, get a little more into it. <laughs> but I don't have to worry about you know dropping the club with my right arm or something. <laughs> How's the short game? Uh, it improved at the end of last year. It takes a while, though, for me to really get that fine-tuned. <laughs> We've run awesome. the gamut. Yeah, so. yeah. Golf is <laughs> 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 Take care, man.